Say you have the equation y equals 2x minus 1. So we know this represents a line. So let's go ahead and graph it on our, our graph here. We know the y-intercept is negative 1. We know that the slope is 2, which is like 2 over 1. So we're rising 2, running 1, rise 2, run 1, etc. So that's going to be our uh, original line there. But what we want to do is we want to rotate it 90 degrees, okay, about its x-intercept. So the question is, is where does it cross the x-axis? The way you can find out what this point is, is by setting the y value equal to zero. Because when you're crossing the x-axis, you're not going up or down. We know that the y value is zero. So what we're going to do is set y to zero, add one to both sides of this equation, and we have 2x equals 1, divide both sides by 2, and you can see that x equals 1 half. So this point right here is the point 1 half comma zero. But when you think about rotating 90 degrees, what that means is that the lines are going to be perpendicular to one another. Now, what do you know about lines when they're perpendicular? Well, their slopes are going to be opposite reciprocals. So in this case, we know that the slope is 2. If we flip that over and make it the opposite, the slope is going to be negative 1 half. So now that we have a point that the line goes through, the x-intercept, and the slope of the perpendicular line, we can write an equation in point-slope form. So remember, the point-slope form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And by substituting in our point, y minus the y-coordinate, which is 0, negative 1 half is our slope, x minus the x-coordinate of the point, which is 1 half, we've got our equation in point-slope form. Now we can rearrange this into slope-intercept form by getting the y by itself, y minus 0 is just y, Distributing the negative one half, that's going to come out to negative one half x plus one fourth. And now we have the equation line in the slope intercept form. If we want to graph that just to see what that looks like, you can see that the y intercept is one fourth, which is about right there. And it has a slope of down one over two. So down one over two, something like this. And we know it's going to cross right there at the, the x axis, the x intercept. And uh, that's going to be our perpendicular line. So this has been Mario with Mario's Math Tutoring. Subscribe to the channel. This channel is all about making learning math less stressful so that you can raise your grades, pass your class, go on to pursue your dreams. I look forward to helping you in my other videos. I'll talk to you soon.